my beautiful Scorpios and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a good day or night wherever you may be on this beautiful planet we reside on. Today's video is going to be your May 1st through the 15th reading. Yes, you heard that correctly. I am going to be doing things a little bit differently this month. So this is going to be May 1st through the 15th. As usual, messages are general, so they are not going to resonate with everybody. If they don't resonate to your situation, kick them to the curb because they're not for you. And if they do, be sure to let me know down in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, guys. It'd be much appreciated. I am also accepting private readings now, so all of the info for that will be in the description box below. And damn, we starting off quick. So, most recent past for my Scorpios, please. Y'all's messages are coming out hella quick. Look at that. Okay. Ooh. One more, please. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Good for you guys. All right, so we got the Queen of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. So, for some of you, this is going to be somebody coming in uh, to communicate with you, maybe a past lover, ex, whatever, and you're just like having none of it. You're like, no, I'm done with you, goodbye stay out of my life you know the queen of swords is very ruthless she cuts out people that no longer serve her that aren't worth her um time her efforts um she rises above and realizes um how conscious she is or whether or not she resonates with people anymore and if she doesn't goodbye snap crackle pop you out of here so yeah, definitely, if this is an ex coming back, you have nothing, you're not having anything to do with it. You're cutting that person out saying, nope, don't want anything to do with you. No, goodbye. Um, we're also, uh, for some of you, we're letting go of things that no longer serve us. We're letting go of belief systems. Uh, maybe you had an epiphany moment with the Page of Swords, you know, something became clear for you and now you're letting go of that belief system that no longer resonates with you. You're cutting it out. Whatever the case may be, you're letting go of a situation, you're letting go of a person. If this is your uh, ex coming back, you're letting go of the ex, you're cutting them out. Goodbye. Sayonara, senor or senorita. Goodbye. Adios. But yeah, definitely cutting shit out, cutting toxic things out, cutting people out that, you know, you're no longer resonating with. You're you're on the ball, Scorpio. You're on the ball here. All right, so what's in the present moment for my Scorpios? Present moment for my Scorpios. May 1st through the 15th, please. Present moment for my Scorpios. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Interesting. Seven of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and the Sun card here. So what I'm getting, what I heard right off the bat is y'alls are just taking a breather. With the, the Seven of Pentacles here, you're just kind of, you're taking a breather. You're cutting out the things that need to be cut out, and then you're kind of just like, all right, I need to take a break from people. I need to focus on me. Um, you could be trying to manifest a new love with the Page of Cups, 
or this could also mean that you're you're taking a vacation so with the seven of pentacles and the page of cups right next to each other you might be taking a vacation to really focus on yourself somewhere sunny island you know down south florida or you know one of the hotter states cali whatever uh if you're in the states or going to an island you know hawaii bahamas fiji Tahiti, Bora Bora, you know, any of those good old places, um, you definitely are, you know, just kind of stepping back from society is what I'm seeing, you know, you're cutting out everything that no longer serves you, you're letting go, to, go of people you no longer resonate, belief systems that no longer resonate with you, and you're kind of just like focusing on you, taking a breather, saying, you know, I've earned this, and... I'm gonna take this vacation and nobody's gonna stop me. I'm gonna go lay on the beach, soak up that sun, and I'm gonna feel good about it. Good for you, Scorpios, good for you. And most likely outcome for my Scorpios, May 1st through the 15th, please. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. Most likely outcome for my Scorpios. That one is wanting to come. Oh, ooh, you definitely may have a new love interest on the horizon here. That one. Damn. All right. Sorry, guys. I've been extremely hyper. But anyways, we've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the High Priestess here. So maybe somebody is coming in to offer you that new love. And we have the Lovers card. So this would definitely be like a soulmate connection. Potentially a twin flame. I'm feeling more of soulmate connection more than twin flame. Um, but yeah, definitely somebody might be coming in for you. You might be meeting this person on your vacation. Um... This is somebody, what I'm getting is this is somebody that is very conscious, very spiritually awake, um, has a very strong intuition, and is also going to recognize you as a soulmate if you, um, if this is for the group of you that is meeting somebody. Potentially, I'm seeing on your vacation. That is kind of, that's the energy that I'm getting. And, you know, Ace of Pentacles, so new beginnings. Definitely, this is going to be a new beginning, a new start, um, a clean slate for you guys. So you cut out everything that needed to be cut out and you open, you close that door and now this new door is opening for, you know, a potentially amazing relationship to blossom for you guys. You know, out with the old and with the new. That's it. This is extremely positive. So yeah, new beginnings, but a uh, potential uh, soulmate connection somebody who's very conscious uh that you're going to be able to relate to and connect with and not really have to um explain much of like the spiritual side because they're already gonna know and it's gonna bring you happiness and joy with the sun card as well they're going to bring you happiness and joy but i'm highly getting that you're gonna meet this person wherever you go vacationing to that is yeah, that's that's strongly the energy that I'm picking up on. So as usual, we're going to get you an advice card. This could have something to do with the reading. It doesn't have to. It's just whatever spirit would like you guys to know at the time you are watching this video. All right. So spirit, what advice do you have for my Scorpios? May 1st through the 15th, please. What advice do you have for my Scorpios? May 1st through the 15th. Oh, dang, okay. Okay. So we've got trapped. So what I'm getting from this, what Spirit wants you to know, is don't trap yourself. Don't go back into these old habits. Don't go back into the old way of thinking. Don't trap yourself because you've got so much good on the horizon. So if you start overthinking it and you start trapping yourself mentally... You know, with the Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords here, it's all mental here. If you trap yourself mentally, then you're shutting this door. You're basically, you're resisting this from happening. You know, you, clo you may have closed the old door, but you're kind of holding the new door shut. 
you're not allowing it to open you know what I mean so don't trap yourself that is that is your advice but yeah so that is your reading for May 1st through the 15th if this resonated with you guys please let me know down in the comments down below give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel guys it would be much much appreciated and as always much love to you